Hey everyone, it's Jay with iCar-STL.com and today we're here with the 1988 Mazda RX-7. If you love 90s Japanese cars, hit the subscribe button. If you love this car, hit the give it the thumbs up. Uh, we work with three different lenders to help bring your dream car to your driveway. All of our lenders are listed on our website under the financing options tab. You can fill out an application online and have an approval within as little as 24 hours. Uh, let's quit wasting time and let's check out this beautiful RX-7. Here is a 1988 Mazda RX-7 convertible. It shows 133,103 miles on the odometer. They are verified and correct. Uh, it is a manual 5-speed transmission, has the 1.3-liter 13B rotary engine. Uh, it is a 4-owner, shows no accidents. Uh, it has new front struts, a brand new aftermarket oil cooler, uh, short throw uh, shifter. Also has the original shift knob and the original shifter in the trunk. Uh, this car has a limited slip rear differential. It runs and drives and ships excellent. Uh, the paint does have some blemishes on it. Uh, rust is starting to form on the rocker panel in the rear back here. Um, on the yeah, on the passenger side, the driver's side looks pretty good. Interior is clean and good shape. Uh, convertible top does have a patch on it, uh, but it doesn't leak. I took it through the car wash. It doesn't leak on that patch. Um, if you're here in Missouri, this car will be safety inspected and ready to go for you. Uh, we ask that if you're planning on financing the car to get an approval before coming in. It just makes the uh, car buying process easier. Uh, I was saying that it was powered by a 1.3 liter 13B uh, twin rotor rotary engine. Uh, produces about 145 to 150 horsepower. 5-speed manual gearbox. Alright, let's do a walk around of the body of this car and show you some of the flaws in the paint and show you the interior. Uh, we'll put the top up on it, uh, show you that everything works on it. Let's start in the front. The first part on this front here is there is a scuff on the bumper. Right there. There is a scratch there. Does have a couple dents here and here. It is not 100% perfect, this car, uh, but it is a good driver quality and a good start uh, if you wanted to restore one and we have it priced to move. You can see the rust on the rocker panel there. The black does shine. It's got a scuff or scratch there on the rear bumper. The, uh, got some dents on the trunk lid. Got a, uh, another scratch there. Driver's side's a little bit better. It's got a uh, scratch there or a ding there. Uh, wheels look to be in good shape. This looks like it's starting to get some, uh, Rust bubble going there, that may be able to be sanded down and uh, fixed. Scuff there. It's got some scratches on the pop up headlights there. And some dents and stuff on the hood of the car as well. Not sure if you can see them, but they're like here and here. There is the wheels. Tires have probably about 50% tread left on them. This is the top cover in good shape. I think this uh, was used as a road track car as it has a uh, fire extinguisher in it and the limited slip rear differential. Short throw shifter. His cloth interior. Seats look good. Door panels look good. It does have uh, 
owner's manual with it and uh, radio manual. The uh, driver's seat has a tear in it right there. And then it is starting to show wear here. But it is cloth. Probably could be sewn up. Door panel. Has uh, all weather floor mats. Let me grab the uh, key out of the door. Let's see. Dash. Turn the headlights on and flashers. Pop up head pop up headlights. I will uh, take the top cover off and put the top up for you. Let me put the camera down. All right, top cover is off. The button for this car is on the dash. You can see that this top here has some marks on it. The top button is right here. And you just flick it up or flick it down to make it go up. And I'll show you how this top works. It's a little different than some of the other tops, convertible top cars. So, uh, first off, what you do is you take this and you fold this up. It will stop and you can do your latches. Now it is closed and locked. You can see the patch here on the top. It doesn't leak though. It does have some scratches or tear marks in it there. Uh, this whole piece is separate. It does come off from this back piece. Uh, so this can be redone without that being redone. Uh, it does have a glass window in it. it does have another patch over here. It needs to be I'll re-glue that down um, probably coming off from it being inside uh, being it down it was put put away the windows still a little wet so um, let's jump in it we'll uh, show you that the windows work it does have power windows power window little slow but it does work drivers a little faster now we'll do a uh, cold start for you show you that it's cold let's go get the camera back there Smoke a little bit on startup. They uh, they are uh, pre-mixed gas and oil. Uh, I usually just throw a little, the little size uh, two-stroke oil in the tank when I fill it up. They just recommend doing it. They do make an oil for um, 
rotary engines. You see the motor. Nice, wide, smooth. Now we'll take her for a drive. All right, let's take her for a drive. The heat does work on this. Slide it down. Limited slip differential, the uh, rear tires do slide a little bit on turns. Shifts through all the gears good, smoothly, no noises. to hold the camera here and do this at the same time but this car hasn't quite warmed up yet see though it does have good oil pressure there take trade-ins so if you have a car you want to put towards this we can do that uh, email us at office at icar-stl.com just like our website concludes our drive of the 1988 Mazda RX-7. If you have any questions, feel free to call us at the number below or shoot us an email.